my workshop. As you can see, it contains a number of rather ingenious inventions. I've studied them all with the help of my loyal assistant, the great woolly mammoth. Everything is arranged on these shelves. I have hundreds of machines here, along with the scientific principles that underlie them, the history of their development, and the stories of their inventors. So be my guest. Click on the shelves and explore my collection for yourself. Drying mammoth clothing has often created problems of shrinkage. I therefore hired a blacksmith to build a mammoth-shaped clothes dryer. During the construction, a thunderstorm swept overhead and a bolt of lightning hit the metal dryer. The blacksmith's tools flew through the air and attached themselves to the clothes dryer, dropping to the floor when the lightning had passed. Both blacksmith and mammoth were overwhelmed by the experience. Oh, cool. Despite their placid temperament, mammoths are ill-suited to inside work. But their love of the outdoors makes them eager helpers in an agricultural environment. During one particularly heavy coconut harvest, mammoths were used to bend the palm trees so that the farmer could reach the nuts. However, problems arose when the mammoth became distracted and released the rope prematurely distributing the coconuts, the farmer, and the mammoth far and wide. <laughs> recently discovered document proves the enormous intelligence of mammoths. A knight and his trusty mammoth were trying to rescue a beautiful princess trapped in a tower. The knight charged up the steps of the tower, only to find that the door was locked. Now the mammoth had a bright idea. 
Holding a tree trunk, he began to turn the tower. And to the knight's amazement, the tower began to screw itself into the ground. So the princess could leap to safety. <sighs> oh, that happy ending. After the runaway success of my pressure-sensitive burglar alarm, I thought of other ways in which the mammoth's sensing abilities could be put to use. <laughs> I tried one experiment at the airport, using mammoths as metal detectors. Large oh, items oh. and luggage were easily located, oh. but I fear the damage caused to passengers was too mad people. was irreparable. And so I turned to experiments with mammoth breath testers. The response to intoxicating fumes was instant. But the workforce needed to bring the mammoth round was enormous. Oh, I wonder what that mammoth died. Catching a mammoth involves stunning the beast with a gentle blow to its sensitive skull. Uh -huh. However, hey, Mom. raising the boulder high enough was I just watching the way things work movie. Successful. Huh? I wonder After what the mammoth's thought, gonna do. I suggested replacing the tall towers with ramps made of earth. Not only did this require much less effort, it also increased the rate of mammoth capture. Oh, that's gonna hurt. And once caught, the mammoth was eager and ready for work. Uh oh, mammoth still. Yuck. of mammoths for entertainment was in the famous carousel experiment. Carrots were used to bribe the mammoths to turn one wheel. But even though the mammoths moved with alarming speed, the crowd still appeared bored. Wow. I therefore had the mammoths move to the larger wheel, and the chairs hung from the smaller one. This new arrangement proved to be much more exciting. Wow. What are they doing? Once came upon a delivery mammoth preparing to transport a screen. During a sudden gust of wind, the beast was perturbed to find himself lifted into the air, returning to the ground when the wind dropped. Inspired, I began my own experiments and found that a curved screen resulted in a smoother flight. Even so, screen deliveries remained somewhat unpredictable. Nice landing! <laughs> okay, let's try something else. Oh, lights, camera, action! You're on! I 
I have often observed that the mammoth is capable of sleeping while standing up, sometimes sustaining its inactivity for days on end. While playing golf one day, I noticed that the grass growing in the shadow of a particularly inert mammoth was less green than that on the rest of the course. I decided to see whether images other than those of mammoths could be captured. Back in my yard, I paid a local family to stand in a line at the edge of my lawn. Having designed restraints for the younger members of the family, I had them return for the next five days, each time standing in the same places. The result was a perfect image of the family. Despite investing in a frame for my picture, however, it proved unsuitable for public exhibition. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Showtime. Firefighting mammoths have learned to take in enough water to extinguish a blaze. However, getting the water out is more of a problem. But if the water-filled mammoth is placed in front of a sturdy post and firmly squeezed with a piston, the water is forcefully discharged. Unfortunately, the mammoth's powerful inhalation can create a serious hazard for onlookers. Uh-oh. What happened to his trunk? Uh, it's just a firefighter. <laughs>